Hi, everybody. This is Crypto Rich working with you to get rich with crypto, filling our pockets with crypto profits. I have with me Draith from BPSAA plus a brand new project that's just joining the Blockchain Privacy Security and Adoption lines. Find the best cryptocurrency investments, check out token metrics, use my affiliate link for a discount. Apollo have produced the ultimate hardware wallet for your cryptocurrency assets, probably the most secure hardware wallet going. Use my affiliate link and the code for a discount. Please follow me on Twitter and join my official Telegram announcements channel. Also, please follow me on bittube.video. You can also follow me on Odyssey. These are both censorship resistant platforms. And every now and then I am going to post a video which isn't going to be on YouTube. Hey, Drake. Hey, Johnny, thank you so much for joining me, for joining, uh, for coming on this, right? And Drake, you are the lead for BPSAA, and we're going to say a little bit about that. And then, Johnny, you are from Namebase, but really you're, we're going to be talking about Handshake, which is a completely decentralized protocol. But we'll start with you, Drafe. Do you want to say a little bit about the BPSAA? Sure. Yeah, the BPSAA is, uh, stands for the Blockchain Privacy, Security, and Adoption Alliance. Uh, it's comprised of nine, now 10 members uh, that you know try to work on interoperability amongst one another, uh, create adoption among people outside of crypto and educate um, users on, you know, the importance of privacy and security in their own personal lives. Right. And the founder members are Pirate Chain, Sentinel with a decentralized VPN, Etho Protocol and mm -hmm. Turtle Network. Correct. And then we also have Signum, formerly Burst, BitTube, Komodo, Ergo Platform and Dragon Chain. Okay, and the ninth, the the tenth member is Handshake, which is you, Johnny. So do you want to well, say? I'm not a Handshake, but you know, handshake. Uh, I'm just a community member of Handshake. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to do you want to say a little bit about the structure of Handshake? Yeah. Um, for those who don't know, uh, Handshake it's uh, it's its own blockchain protocol. It's not a layer two, um, and um, Handshake the protocol provides a decentralized domain names. Um, interestingly, it's Actually, as decentralized as you can really get, um, the founders of Handshake, the creators, they uh, once they launched the mainnet, they stepped away from the project to let the community take over in its entirety. So um, quite literally, everything you see um, that's relevant to Handshake is community run. Um, I work at Namebase. We're a VC-backed startup. But even we are just um, a community member in the Handshake ecosystem. Uh, we just, we're such a big fan of Handshake that we built our entire business to uh, exclusively support it. Right. Okay. Now I understand it's a little bit like Bitcoin. It's fully decentralized. Satoshi Nakamoto invented it, released the code, and then stepped away. So similarly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Precisely. Um, there's actually a lot of that same, like the original Bitcoin culture, is also as an handshake. Um, actually, uh, one way that might be helpful to think about it is uh, Bitcoin is to uh, gold, as is a uh, handshake is to uh, domain names. Okay. All right. Bitcoin is to gold. Is handshake is to domain names. Okay. And is handshake proof of work or proof of stake? Proof of work. Proof of work. Okay. And uh, Namebase is a community member. And what is it that Namebase does? Yeah. Um, Namebase, we're an on-ramp to handshake. So if you want to get started on handshake, you can do everything through Namebase without uh, needing to, to go anywhere else. Uh, we're an exchange, so you can come to Namebase and purchase handshake coins. Um, with Bitcoin, or if you're a U.S. resident, you can use uh, USD. Um, once you have your handshake coins, you can use that to acquire a handshake name. You can then list it on our marketplace um, to then uh, sell it again, and you can also use our name-based registry. It was actually created by the same person who created the .io registry. Um, he created the name-based reg registry, which makes it possible for you to uh, sell subdomains on your handshake name. Right, okay. And then why have decentralized domain names? What, why what? Why have decentralized domain names? What's the point of them? Oh, why have decentralized domain names? Yeah, um, I think uh, it might be helpful to share how the existing domain name system is set up in the first place. Um, right now, DNS is pretty decentralized uh, um, and as already, um, which is actually a common first like misconception is like, why do you need a decentralized DNS? It's already pretty decentralized. There's no point for that. Um, DNS is decentralized. It's the um, there's one portion of it that's still centralized, the root zone file, the very uh, root, the core of the entire DNS tree, the very top. 
So when your browser visits um, a website like, say, YouTube.com, um, it first needs to figure out where .com's servers are. So it consults something called the root zone file. Um, I like to uh, explain it like a spreadsheet. Column A of the spreadsheet are domain extensions like .com, .net, .org, .io. And column B are the servers that each of those names point to. Um, this root zone file is controlled by just one organization called ICANN, um, which is pretty crazy because this is the uh, internet domain system that we use, that everyone uses around the world, and is controlled at the core by just one entity. Um, so all Handshake does is Handshake just moves that spreadsheet I'm talking about, the root zone file, uh, onto a decentralized blockchain. Right, okay. And that makes it way more secure and censorship resistant, which completely ties in with BPSAA's ethos. Now, do you want to say why Handshake applied for BPSAA membership? And then Drake. Well, I, actually, I think it was um, the initial recommendation was from uh, you yourself, uh, Crypto Rich. You kind of pointed us in this direction, and then um, it just turned out uh, we're in talks with Ether Protocol to try to get some uh, interoperability going. Um, you know, uh, handshake name serving as the decentralized domain name with Ether Protocol as the decentralized storage in the back. Um, and then also at the same time, it turns out we're already working really closely with Sentinel, who also happened to be part of the BPSAA already. So it just kind of made a lot of sense. Um, right. We're already working with a couple of the members there. Yes, very good. And I've done an interview with the lead at Namebase. I forget his name. I'm sorry, but people yeah, sure. yeah. on my um, on my playlist. And I got in touch with Handshake via Sentinel, who are already members of the BPSAA. So you then applied for the BPSAA. And that procedure requires an application form and an interview. And not everybody is successful, are they, Drace? No. No. So what was it about Handshake that they got accepted? Just the uh, the concept of decentralized domain names and, you know, basically the ability to create your own domain, you know. So it's actually something that um, I looked into a long time ago in terms of like, you know, what it takes to actually create a do your own domain name. And it's a lot of money and it's luck along with several other factors. And it's it's crazy. So an idea of decentralized domain names is just fantastic to me. So as soon as they applied, I mean, granted, we, uh, it took a while for us to respond at first because we got spam attacked from uh, from our uh, applications and everything like that. So we had like tens of thousands of just BS applications. I had to just sift through and delete one by one, mainly because um, sometimes like there's an application that will come in and just out of nowhere. So if that happened to be in between some spammy, spammy ones, then I might accidentally delete that. I didn't want to do that. So I just had to go one by one. And um, yeah, thankfully, uh, Johnny over there, you know, pinged me about it. And then, you know, finally I got to the point where I found the application and then uh, got it sorted from there. So yeah, it took a little while, longer than expected, but yeah, finally got to it. Yep. So one definitely about the decentralized domain names, because I've not come across any other project that does this. I mean, there may be, I just don't know. But I think the other thing that where Handshake and Namebase fit in with the BPSAA ethos is being fully decentralized now not all the bpsaa projects are as decentralized as handshake is correct but, but this is this is as decentralized as it gets you know think of pirate chain or ether protocol run by the community mm -hmm. signum as well do you want to say anything about that Dre? about why that's important um yeah i mean it it allows um by by having the community take over it helps push the focus of the project where the mass wants it to be you know what i mean because you can have like the singular person run a project and then put it into a like lead it into a direction that may not be actually good for the project you know what i mean right. so or, by, or good for privacy or censorship resistance yeah exactly so by having the community run the project it allows the project to flourish and actually gain more exposure over time you know so it like kind of like pirate chain but it's more uh, more decentralized than Parachain, obviously. But you know, having it that decentralized helps it grow a lot faster, in my opinion. Right, right, okay. All right, very good. Now, one of the things that the BPSA promotes between its members is collaboration. Mm -hmm. So what is it that Handshake is going to provide with the BPSAA? And then we'll talk about what the BPSAA is going to provide for Handshake. I'll give you one guess as to what Handshake will provide. <laughs> 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 is it do you run a vpn is that it <laughs> <laughs> no i mean like 
having uh like for example um johnny over there was kind enough to create an auction for the bpsaa domain for us won it and gifted it to us you know so now we have the bpsaa domain that we can utilize for you know ourselves and for all the projects within the bpsaa so now you can have say you know handshake that bpsaa or etho protocol that bpsaa and so forth so you can have all these subdomains within there oh wow oh that'd be cool yeah that'd be really really cool okay and so, then on top of that you can have each uh, we can all uh you know get our own subdomains for each of our own projects and such you know and then uh, you can there's a ton of different things we can utilize uh handshake for and just the various projects within the bpsa right okay anything you want to add to that johnny yeah i just think um you're not totally decentralized until your domain name is also decentralized. Um, <laughs> there's plenty of dApps out there that still live on a domain name that gets taken down and then your end users lose access to your website. Handshake makes a lot of sense as a uh, unsensible mirror. So in the off chance that your domain name does get taken down, which it's pretty crazy if you look at the numbers of domain takedowns, um, in the, especially in the recent years, it just keeps going up. Um, so in the off chance that you're hit by one of those, um, your website will still be live on its handshake domain. Right. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. And then what is it that handshake is going to get out of BPSAA membership? Either of you want to say, maybe you should say, Johnny, what do you think you'll get out of this? Yeah. I mean, it would just be awesome to see more projects um, host their websites on uh, on their handshake name. Um, that alone, I think, is um, really like, that. that alone is already huge. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to yeah. add, Jay? Yeah. The big thing for me, at least, is um, just the fact that the more projects stand together and work together, the stronger we are in general. You know. So the more we stand together and educate all the all the uh, crypto people in crypto and people outside of crypto on, you know, the importance of privacy, security, decentralization, and you know all those different facets of uh, what crypto provides as well as you know how to get them onboarded and then stress to them the importance of privacy and security which you know so handshake provides you know domain security in a sense in a sense because you know they're like taking that down taking your site down and such you know yeah so there's a lot of cool things that um come from this uh you know come from handshake joining yep very cool very cool and i and there's a few things that i want to point out that i think for practical purposes, make a big difference. So one is Handshakes and Namebase's social media community joins the BPSAA social media community, and it all gets shared and it and is enlarged. Something like I saw on the website, half a million members across all the social media platforms from all the communities. Then there's things like um, Komodo Platforms, Atomic Dex, which is a mobile. So it works on mobile. It's a fully decentralized peer-to-peer true atomic swap decks and at some point i imagine hns will get integrated into that because they're all doing that with their decks and i'm particularly looking forward to the r atomic decks when that comes out when pirate chain is available on the on the komodo's atomic decks but also signum is doing the same turtle network offers that for many of the bpsa projects where you can trade between the different coins for and the trading fee is a penny it's one cent it's tiny yeah. And it's very yeah, and, uh, same thing with Delarity on Exchange, um, getting listed on uh, cryptocurrency checkout and all of our partner benefits and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. So, so in that way, the projects all work together and support each other and to promote decentralization, privacy and censorship resistance, which Lord knows is much is wanted and needed right now. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. OK. Dre, Johnny, anything you guys want to say before we finish up? Yeah, I think um, if any listeners uh, want a random handshake game to play with, just drop by uh, our Discord and our community members are regularly gifting them out all the time. Okay, very cool. Very cool. And I'll have all the links to Handshake in the description below and, of course, to the BPSAA. Drake, anything for you? Yeah, um, check out the um, newly produced uh, BPSA podcast episodes. Um, we have one on smart contracts. I think part two is coming up soon. And uh, yeah, we're trying to uh, keep on those podcasts, educate users and bring on special guests so people uh, can learn about the various topics that we're uh, talking about. And even some of the um, a little more controversial topics, including like privacy, even though it shouldn't really be controversial, but 
certain parts of it can be like, for example, like should everything be private, you know, or things like that. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of cool episodes we have planned coming up. So be sure to check that out. Fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you. And of course, be sure to check that out and be sure to subscribe to my channel as well. Comment, like, uh, subscribe, all that business. And of course, um, the BPSA will be back on my channel, the projects again. I'm, and actually, there's something very special I'm lining up in the next few weeks or so with the BPSA projects. So, Johnny, thank you so much. Dre, thank you so much. And thank you so much for watching. And between now and when I see you next, please keep filling your pockets with crypto profits. This is Crypto Johnny and Crypto Dre and Crypto Rich signing out. All the best. Bye-bye.